Okay, so we've got another trophy list video for you today. And this time, it's going to be Greybush 2084. Before we jump into it, as always, I just want to say a huge thanks for all the love and support that I've been getting on these trophy list reviews. And also the patience. I have been absolutely blown away by the fact that nobody so far has kicked up a fuss through the dummy at the pram or, or even made any noise about how long it has been taking to get to them. Everybody's just been immaculately patient and I thank you so much. And for that, in a couple of weeks time, I'm gonna be double dipping. So Monday, trophy list review and Thursday, trophy list review. That'll be in a couple of weeks, but I'll be uploading twice for two weeks, four videos, just to speed it up a little bit and also try and get further down the list, get closer to everybody's but I'm still going to put the same effort into every single list. So without further ado, let's get into grey brushes. Um, as, as we can see right at the top, one, two, two. So a good number of Platinums that we're going to be talking about. And I can see right there, he's been playing Twisted Metal. So banger of a game. But we'll get to that. So the first one is a Knight's Quest. I'm not 100% sure on this game, but it's 12.16%. So suggests that it's not an easy one. But easy enough, I guess. Uh, Adam's Venture, I haven't got a clue, but it only took 5 hours, 46 minutes. Was quite a high percentage on that one. The next one is Adventure Time, Finn and Jake Investigations. I actually own this uh, physical edition. After I played Pirates of the Incaridian, I saw this in the store, so I brought it. I just haven't got round to it yet. But probably something that I will be playing in the near future. Then we've got Air, Memories of Old, one day, 10 hours it took, 71.32% on that one, so quite high, uh, quite a short game, but you know, at least it's not just six golds and a lot of jumping. Then we've got Agents of Mayhem, I honestly, like I know what the game is, but I've never played it, excuse me, I, um, I own it physically, I believe I paid 49 pence. For a physical edition of this um but i mean 60 ever platinum 6.88 percent fair effing play on that one uh then we got albedo eyes from outer space no idea what that is it's two hours 48 minutes quite a high percentage i'm not going to say it's trash or shovelware but it doesn't look like it was too intricate uh, and then we got alteric again no idea but well done on the platinum. Then we got two stacks of Ape Escape. Uh, no, no uh, auto popping, which you love to see. So one on the PS4, one on the PS5, both in the 30%, taking eight hours and a two out of 10 difficulty. Then we got the arcade game series, Dig Dug. That took you three years and six months. So obviously one that you went back to. 20.95% uh, on that, so very nice. And we've actually got a few more arcade games. We've got Galaga, which is 15%, so fair play. And then we've got Mrs. Pac-Man, or Miss Pac-Man rather. And then the, the OG Pac-Man. Uh, quite surprised that... Why is Miss Pac-Man so much higher than the OG Pac-Man? Did they just make it a lot easier, I'm guessing? Who knows? Then we've got Assassin's Creed, Black Flag, Origins and Unity. Assassin's Creed have, have had their day with me. Like Assassin's Creed 2 platinumed it on my on my uh, old slash alternate account, which I no longer use or haven't used for years. But I platinumed Assassin's Creed 2. I believe it was 2. It's the one with the feathers, if I'm right. Um, and I remember playing Black Flag. It was uh, just after I'd had my, uh, my injury. And it was one of the first games that I ever played on a PS4. Um, and I played it for hours and hours and hours and it took me until like about an hour before i decided i'm not playing it anymore to figure out that i could turn off the sea shanties so that whole time i've been sailing around the world listening to that god awful singing and music but regardless i put so many hours into it and i just i just hit a point where i was like i can't be bothered it was just too much but fair play, you've got that one, 5.38%, 50 hours and a 5 out of 10 difficulty. So very nice. Assassin's Creed Origins, a bit higher of a, higher of a percentage, but still 50 hours as well. And Unity, 50 hours, and that one's 10.21%. So 
noise, noise and noise. We've then got Astro's Playroom, which I can see you've done last month. So 3rd of September. So you've only done that one more recently. Or actually, would that... I'm not sure. I can't tell if, if that says three years and eight months to get the Platinum. Or if the additional DLC would then add on to that time. But regardless, Astro's Playroom. Everyone knows it. Everybody should have it. 100%. Then we've got Batman the Telltale series, so very nice on that one. Uh, Beast Quest, no idea. Uh, same with Bricks 2, quite a high percentage with 70.33. Then we've got a double stack of Bug Snacks. It looks like the one may be a semi-auto pop, um, but you've got it fully, one year, eight months. I think mine might be roughly the same. It was a game that I played when it first released, and I, I, I waited a while before I went back to it. Um, but nice on that one. Then we've got a bit of Castlevania. Love to see it. Uh, Castlevania Requiem, Sympathy of the Night, and Rondo of... No idea what the rest of the title is. Rondo of Blood. Um, but yeah, 16.76 on that one. 5 out of 10 difficulty. Very nice. Coffin Dodgers, which I, th I think I think a lot of people would know what that is. It's uh, granny racing. Um, and it's... From what I know, I've not played it myself, but from what I've heard on other people's uh, videos and reviews, it's awful. Uh, then we've got Colour Guardians, 20.42%. Not sure what that is in truth. Then we've got Double Stack of Control. Now, having, pl having Platinumed Control myself, I know it is possible in four days and three hours. Actually, yeah, I I'm going to I'm gonna take a punt and say that you did both of those uh, legitimately. But fair play, brilliant game. Uh, Day of the Tentacle is next. Five hours, two minutes. A short game, but 35% on that one. Then we've got Days Gone. Brilliant game. So, people are so divided on Days Gone, but I thought it was a brilliant game. So brilliant that I actually want to go back and get the Platinum on it. I want to start a brand new save and go for the Platinum. Because when I played it, I wasn't, wasn't a Platinum Hunter. Then we've got... Dead Island uh, Definitive Edition, Dead Island Riptide Definitive Edition, uh, 40 hours and 30 hours, 5 out of 10, 3 out of 10, both both amazing games. Uh, the original Dead Island was 6.56%, so very nice. Then we got Dead Nation, 2.63% on that one, absolutely beautiful, 8 years and 7 months, so one that you went back for, but... Fair play on that one. Then we've got the OG Dead Rising. Is it? Yeah, definitely the OG Dead Rising. 4.79 on that one. Ooh, very nice. And then Deadlight Director's Cut. I'm not 100% sure because I know I've picked this up in the store hundreds of times. But I think I might have this physical. I, might, I also might not have it physically. But I have seen it many a times. Uh, I just... I've heard from a lot of people that it's a pretty poor game, so that's why I've not to, like played it or, or put the disc in. But let me know, like, did you enjoy that one? Was it good? Is it definitely worth it? 3.79 suggests that it could be quite difficult. Then we got Destruction All Stars, 1.47% on that one. Only 25 hour platinum, but I do I do know that there's a lot of multiplayer on on the that. And I'm, I'm not 100 percent sure, but are the servers closed on it now? I think I've read somewhere that the servers are down or, or the game's broken um, and it hasn't had any support in a long time. But, I mean, the game wasn't that bad. It just... Yeah. Some games just don't stand a chance against the bigger titles. Uh, gonna going to ignore that one because it looks like uh, potential uh, trash. Apologies if Doubt Drowning isn't. Uh, Duke Nukem 3D. Such a disappointing game. Like Duke Nukem is a, an amazing like franchise, but the, the later ones... Actually, is 3D 20th anniversary? I'm not even sure, but the later ones are absolutely trash. I'm not sure about that one in truth. Uh, Energy Invasion, not a clue. Aoife 1, not a clue, but 
nine years and three months so one that you went back for literally a couple of months ago very nice 10.39 percent on that I only took five hours as well I'm actually quite surprised there's there's a few tro platinum trophies on here that don't take too long but are quite considerably low so fair play either way uh, we've then got everyone's gone to the rapture fair play 17.04 percent i couldn't do it I, I can't do games that have enough like there's not enough going on to keep me interested uh to keep me concentrating uh then we've got two stacks uh okay we've got an auto pop and the actual uh platinum on uh fall guys 2.09 percent being the best percentage very nice um i know there's been a lot of talk of what you know there was certain events that made the, the one trophy really easy but back in august 2020 i don't know if that was the case back then we've then got fee one month and two weeks it took you 23.87 percent on that one very nice uh game of thrones i believe that's the telltale nice on that one then we got god of war nice 27.03 percent uh, I'd imagine that's just going to keep going higher and higher. That, that that's to me, God of War is similar to Spider Man. Like it's a game that is amazing, but so many people have the platinum, uh, and I know that that's gone up. If if you look back to one of my first videos, I think it was on like twenty five percent, and it's now on twenty seven. Um. Okay, so now we got Grand Theft Auto Three, Grand Theft Auto San Andreas, and Vice City three absolutely banging games not really my type of game but i can appreciate how good they are and and you know i have played them and had fun on them just not to the point where i've done everything on them um i did buy the definitive edition not too long back so who knows maybe in the future i'll tackle those uh we've then got i mean just because i, I whenever i see it, it just makes me laugh because it just looks looks and sounds horrendous but that horrendous i want to play it myself but we got hentai versus evil uh yeah one hour well 39 minutes 37 minutes uh one out of 10 difficulty don't even know what the game actually consists of but i see it all the time uh horizon zero dawn next nice on that one human fall flat 8.61 percent beautiful stuff then we got jack and daxter I actually started this not too long ago and it it just didn't hold my attention I'm not saying i'm not saying it's a bad game it just didn't hold my attention okay so now we have got one two three four five six seven eight nine ten lego games and i can already see that the one is ridiculously low percentage so we've got undercover 15.48 percent DC Super Villains, which is a 10.88%. Indiana Jones 2, 12.94%. Jurassic World, 23.24%, which is probably... I don't really do LEGO games, just because the two that I've played are probably considered two of the worst, the LEGO Movie and the LEGO Movie 2. But I have been keeping an eye on LEGO Jurassic World just recently, because I would like to play another LEGO game. I feel, I feel like it's been long enough. Um, but I don't really want to be sinking tons of time into one. Uh, then we've got Marvel Superheroes, 18.79%. The Movie, 21.66%. Pirates of the Caribbean, 21.67%. Star Wars The Force Awaken, 2036 Lego The Hobbit, 23.44%. And then, I don't know why this is so, like, so rare, but we've got Lego Worlds... That's 1.63%. Fair play on that one. I'm going to click that one so it opens up at the top. Because uh, I want to have a look into that one. I want to see uh, why that one's so low. Um, carrying on then. So we've got Lifeless Planet. 16.57% on that one. 1 out of 10 difficulty with a 10 hour uh, guide. I have no idea what the game is. But it you know, seems to be fairly low for a game that looks relatively straightforward uh lily child of geos 
quite a high percentage took you four days 23 hours no guide uh, then we got a double stack of little nightmares 2 looks like they were done legit as well yeah definitely with that much of a gap nothing special in the sense of like platinum percentage but the game itself amazing i actually recommended it to uh, another youtuber a couple of days ago um and said like you know just use a if you're only going for the platinum use a guide because i remember the trophies just do not explain what they are uh, then we've got little big planet 3 very nice on this one 1.58 percent beautiful absolutely beautiful i do not know what marooners is 20.82 percent on that one uh you know what i'm gonna click it you know any game i don't know just i'm gonna start clicking them i just need to up the knowledge in in this uh little head of mine uh then we got marvel spider-man marvel spider-man remastered uh miles morales twice because of a dirty auto pop uh but fair play you still played the ogs I'm confused. So Marvel Spider-Man and then the PS5 remastered version. I know that they're the same game, but even though this one is remastered, like partial auto pop, I'm guessing. No idea. I'm like, I'm guessing that's what it is, um, but fair play. Uh, so then we got Mecho Tales, no idea what that one is. Click. Uh, Metropolis Lux Obscura, no idea what that one is. I'm not going to click this one though because it's uh, actually. I'll. Uh, yeah. We'll see. Uh, Minecraft, 12.46% on that one. Mukak Mulaka, no idea. Uh, My Name is Trash, 94.76. Uh, surprised that that isn't at 100 somebody clearly just can't press a button um, but you know uh, Nero my local store has this game physical edition and it's like apparently it's really rare I've only ever seen it in that one store and I like I keep picking it up and it's like 20 pound I think and it's like should I just add it to my collection I've heard it's an absolutely beautiful game but as of yet haven't picked it up. No, no, my luck. The one day when I decide, you know, I'm going to go and buy it, it'll be gone. Um, then we got Ocean Horn, Monster of Uncharted Seas. No idea, but 35.61% on that one. Then we got Party Golf. I'll open that one up for later. 3.63% uh, on that one. Quite an easy and small platinum from the looks of things. Uh, then Peggle, Peggle 2 rather. 12.79% on that and the DLC, which is 8.67. Beautiful. Planet of the Eyes, no idea. Planet R I X 13. Again, no idea. Both stupidly high. Um, so yeah. Then we got Portal Knights. Seven months, three weeks, 2.81%. I don't really know what this game consists of like i know that what it looks like i know kind of how it plays but i don't know what the trophy list looks like but i have actually got this installed on my playstation 5 because one of my good friends wants to tackle it and he asked me if i wanted to tackle it with him so that may be a trophy platinum trophy that i'm going to be getting myself in the future then we got ratchet and clank 19.58 percent on that one oh no, no, yeah, okay. This one needs highlighting. Rayman Legends, two months, six days, 3.91%. I could be completely wrong, but is this the Rayman where you have to do the challenges where you have to like log in every day for like 30 days or something like that? Is this that one? Regardless, it's a 3.91%. It's 80 hours, it's a 5 out of 10 fair effing play on this one definitely a clap of the hands then we got resogun one of the first games i ever played on my ps4 i think it was uh the ps plus free game for the the month that i actually joined um i don't know why i've not gone back to it actually because I've, I've heard it's a pretty simple platinum 
I mean, it says it's a 5 out of 10, but but yeah, that's 9.93%, so beautiful stuff. Uh, Ryan, 21%. Sackboy, a big adventure. Uh, double stack and legit double stack, from what I can tell. 8.59% on that one, 10.5% on PS5. Uh, then we got Saints Row 4 and Saints Row Gat Out of Hell. Beautiful. 13.01% on that one. And then 8.86% on the second one. Sea of Solitude, not a Scooby Doo. Not really into like sea boats, like those kind of games. Just not my uh, not my cup of tea. Uh, then we got Sea of Stars, double stack. And I think it, I think that might be an actual legit one. So you know what? Again, fair play. I mean, it's got a high percentage, which is quite shocking because usually RPGs, like they're, they're usually quite low. But fair play on both of those. Shadow of the Colossus next, 7.3% on that one. Absolutely banger of a game. But pff, I ain't going for that platinum. Fair play on it. Uh, then we got SpongeBob Square Pants Battle for Bikini Bottom. Nice. We got the free Spyros, also nice. Going a bit further down, we got Stories, The Path of Destinies. That's 13.16% on that one. Absolutely no idea, but I've just clicked it, so I will know for next time. Uh, we'll ignore Stormboy. Stranded Deep, beautiful. Three weeks, two days, which suggests that you didn't do the glitch. 7.62% on that. Considering that that glitch existed, it's still quite a low platinum percentage. We've then got a double stack of Stray. Uh, and again, looks like that was done legit. Um, one of the greatest cat games ever. Uh, survive Mr. Cube. No idea. Doesn't look at all interesting based off that little picture. Tales from the Borderlands, which I now know is not the second... Or is it? Is this is this the is this one the first one or the second one? The first or second Telltale? I think it's the first. I could be completely wrong, but I think it's the first, which is not the shit one. Uh, then we got Tear Away and Tear Away Unfolded. I didn't. Are they are they different games or is it just like the Unfolded one is just on the uh, the you know PS4 rather than the Vita? I own one of these. I thought it was just tear away, but I could be wrong. But tear away unfolded, 5.88% on that one, so very, very nice. Uh, Tesla Grad, beautiful. The Forest, fair effing play on this one. 3.54%. That is, that is some doing. Tomb Raider Definitive Edition, 5.6. Oh my god, I've I've just seen some some of the others below. Um, stay focused. Tomb Raider Definitive Edition, 5.63% on that one. Tricky Towers, click, 1.08%. Uh, and the DLC, which is 0.87%. If I remember right, I believe this is a multiplayer game. But I could be wrong. Uh, then we've got Troin 2, Complete Story, 1.87% on that one. So fair play. Twisted Metal, which I knew you'd done, well, knew you was playing at least, because I saw it at the top. That's 42.32% on that. Got Unravel, which is 14.40%. And then, oh my days, Worms Battlegrounds and Worms Rumble. 0.99% and 1.29%. I'm going to go out on a limb and say that those two are probably your rarest platinums. Just going to go out on a limb. Uh, then we got Yoko Yoku's Island Express, 41.35%. Just quickly, though, going back to the worms. I used to play worms on my PS1, like the original worms, so much. And I used to do all the voices perfectly, but, you know, my balls dropped and I can no longer do it. Like, if I tried, I'd probably, like, strain my throat and be back to what the way i was like a few couple of months ago 
Um, and last on the list, sorry, I just completely went off on a tandem then. Last on the list, we got Zombie. Six days, nine hours, a 3.29%. Absolutely beautiful stuff. So, as always, let's go up to the milestones. And, I mean, some of these trophies. So, first platinum was Assassin's Creed 4 Black Flag. Very, very nice on that. 10th Platinum was Tomb Raider Definitive Edition. 20th Platinum was Kingpin Saints Row. 30th Platinum was Human Fall Flat. I don't actually remember saying that one as I went through the list. But then I don't remember after stuff that I said 10 minutes ago. So, big minor. 40 pla 40th Platinum, Coffin Dodgers. 50th Platinum was that Droning. 75th Platinum was Lego Indiana Jones 2. Forget about the fastest because I know that was the auto pop. 100th Platinum was Shadow of the Colossus. And latest Platinum, so you have Platinumed it. Twisted Metal, absolutely beautiful. And yeah, as I thought, rarest trophies. Oh no, so, you, so the second Worms one isn't even in the rarest trophies part, not in the top five at least. But you have got that Tricky Towers, which is a 1.08, and Worms Elite, which is a 0.99. So, ah, what have I done? So, yeah, so that is absolutely beautiful stuff. So, fair play to you, Greybush. Get off my screen. I have got an ad blocker, you know, but I still get ads popping up. Stupid thing. But, yeah, absolutely beautiful stuff, Greybush. Like, hands down better gamer than me just based off of your trophy list like some of them are immaculately difficult and you, you've smashed them out but as always if you enjoyed that video please leave a like subscribe if you haven't and if you want to have your list reviewed in the future just leave a comment down in the section below if you double check a few minutes after you've posted to make sure that YouTube hasn't auto deleted it because that has been happening quite a lot. Or alternatively, you can join the Discord link, which is down below, and you can drop it in there where I will still add you onto the list. But please, as always, be patient. That every list is coming. It just takes a bit of time to get them out. And of course, I want to continue doing my other content at the same time. So thank you very much for watching once again and see you later.